Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I got a, another product from Vivor. They've sent me a lot of different things to review. This here is an aluminum toolbox. And basically this aluminum toolbox is made to mount under the side of like a flatbed truck or trailer or something like that. Uh, it's made to mount under. Uh, you can also use this in the bed of a truck and that's the reason I got it for the Gladiator. I measured it and I wanted something that would fit in the back of the Gladiator but still be able to t close the tonneau cover. And this one, is the closest thing they had and it barely fits but i think it's going to fit by the measurement i believe it's going to fit so let's take this thing out of the box let's see what it looks like and see how it fits in the truck and i won't actually even have to bolt it into the gladiator i just wanted to set in there i want it to be easy to take out but uh, like i say you can take this thing and bolt it up under the bed of a flatbed truck or semi or any kind of any kind of truck or put it in the bed of a truck so okay so here the box is so it's actually pretty lightweight, don't weigh a lot. It does have a place for a key right here. It has a twi nice twist handle knob. It does have chains to stop the door. So if you was to mount this underneath the bed of a truck, then it has these chains here that will stop the door from falling all the way down, which that's really good. It does come with a set of keys. The keys are right here, right there with that V or tag. And that's the keys for the lock, so you can lock this up. Looks like it does have a manual here. Don't know why you'd need a manual for a box like this, but they have all the different models. So they have a lot of different models than this one here. And the model that I have on this list is the TB17-3, which it says it's 36 inches long by 17 inches high by 18 inches deep. And I think that's going to be about the right height. This is actually the height here. If you was mounting it like this under a bed of a truck, then this would be your height. But I'm going to flip it up so it opens up to the top because the way this thing is designed, let me turn it around here and show you. So the way this thing is designed, you see this lip. It's got a nice rubber gasket here and this is actually a raised lip where it shuts down if it was actually just flat well then it, water would still get in here but the way this is made it should be good and watertight because it's raised so when i shut the lid down in the back of the truck if i did have the tonneau cover off shouldn't be no problem getting water in it so it'll be just mounted just like this or sitting in the front of my truck i'm gonna scoot it up there and then we'll see what it looks like inside the truck but let's take a tape measure and measure this first see how close it is to what it says Okay, so it looks like we are 36 inches wide. And then the height from the way I'm setting it, uh, with the lid up, the height is going to be, looks like about 17 inches high. If you mounted it in a truck, you would mount it like this. And this would be your height. So it's 18 inches high this way. The way I'm mounting it is different. So all I care about as far as height is this 17 inches right here. And there's no need to measure the inside. You know it's going to be pretty close to that because uh, this is pretty thin metal. So not going to change much. Maybe a, a quarter of an inch difference uh, as far as the inside measurements. So I'm going to take this thing and scoot it back to the inside of the bed. Okay. So here I brought you up inside the truck with me. Got it sitting in here where I want it. Should be able to just open this top now, just like so. I want to set it back far enough that my this door is not going to be hitting my tonneau cover. And that's going to work pretty darn slick. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Of course, not much to see, but inside there is a shiny aluminum box. There's the keys hanging there. I'll need to take them off. So it actually does have a nice looking lock. Instead of just one of those little cheap flimsy locks, this is actually a pretty good sized lock and handle that turns. So that locks and that thing is going to be hard to get open if somebody wanted to break into it. Pretty good setup there. This is a nice aluminum housing around it. But looks good. And there's that rubber seal I was talking about. So it's got a good rubber seal. When you close this thing down and you latch it, fold the handle shut, it seals tight. This is our lock, of course. Just pull that cap off. It's just to keep water out of it. Okay guys, that's all there is. That's it for the aluminum box from Vivor. They make these, like I said, once you go to the link I post below to Vivor, 
you can look at uh, all kinds of the different shape boxes. They have all kinds of different sizes and pick out a different box depending on what you need. But for what I needed, this was the best size, best fit, and to haul the most stuff. Uh, this actually got a lot of room inside of it, so pretty proud. This is going to work really good. Thank you all for watching. I'll post a link below, as I said. Click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Right on.